So today I'm going to demonstrate how to do a photo transfer and you can see I've already got a photo transfer on my prepped encaustic board and I'm going to add this photo image on the bottom. And I've made sure that the surface of the encaustic panel is absolutely smooth, perfectly smooth. So I'm putting it down, making sure it's right side up. And I'm going to start burnishing it with the back of a spoon. And I'm using a lot of elbow grease. And this is going to take a little bit of time. The whole thing with this is you want the back of the paper that you're burnishing to be absolutely shiny and uniform and smooth. So if you can see, hold it up, there are still some dull areas, so it hasn't quite burnished perfectly. So I'm going back in. This is one of my favorite things to do. I love putting photo images into my work. I love the dynamic of the painted image integrated with the photo image so it gives kind of a, a mystery, a dynamic that you don't know. Sometimes you're seeing the photo image and sometimes you're seeing the painted image and they just vibrate back and forth if they want. So this looks pretty good. I'm just going to give it a little, just a little heat because it wasn't actually perfectly smooth. So I'm not going to heat it a lot because I don't want to collage the paper in. I just want to soften the underneath. So that's good. So I'm going to go back in and burnish the heck out of this thing. Now I don't mind if there's some bits that organically don't get transferred. As you can see in this transfer, there's some areas that uh, didn't get transferred. Um, as long as you're not doing somebody's portrait, I sort of like the mistakes, accidental happenings that occur. Okay, so I think that's pretty good. And now I have a container of water with a sponge and I'm just, I'm soaking the back of the paper. I'm not rubbing it with a sponge, I'm soaking it. And you can see, you can start to see the image coming out, coming up. So, but it's all sort of kind of misty gray, foggy gray. So I'm going to burnish it again. I'm not applying as much pressure. This time, I'm just kind of pressing, making sure that the image is pressed into the surface of my prepped encaustic board. And this board has been prepped with the encaustic medium. Okay, now I'm going to peel off the paper and ta-da, there's a bit of the image. We're not finished yet though. I now have to go in, wetting my fingers. Okay, that wasn't... So here I didn't burnish enough and you can see it lifted off. So I'm going in and I'm rubbing all the residue paper fiber off with my finger. I didn't press burnish that area either, but that's okay nobody's face. 
not missing an eye. And hey presto, there is my photo transfer. And I'm just going to take these fibers off. And I'm going to let it dry. I'm not going to touch it with any kind of heat source because you can't get rid of all the fibers. So when the fibers are wet, like they are right now, if I go in with a heat gun and try and fuse it, whatever fibers are left are going to explode, expand, and you're going to get like snow all over your image. And that would really defeat the purpose. And so, ta-da! There is your photo transfer for today.